We are committed to getting you answers here at Fox Carolina. We take your submissions about bad roads in the area. Mm -hmm. We go straight to officials. And then we check back in to make sure that they're following through. That's right. We want to keep it going here. Yeah. And we are returning to Highway 101 tonight. The highway goes through Greenville, Spartanburg, and Lawrence counties. However, the main issue was in Woodruff. We have it mapped out there for you. Now check this out. Last May, the potholes were spread all over the pavement between Main Street and the Lawrence County line. Now the South Carolina Department of Transportation has made some improvements, as you can see. Yeah. Good looking road there, freshly mm -hmm. paved. And while most drivers are satisfied, others want crews to take it a bit further. Fox Carolina's Teresa Bowles has that update. There is brand new pavement on Highway 101 that has made a huge difference. It looks nothing like it did in 2021. Many of the drivers I talked to are saying finally, but the SCDOT tells me there's still a little more to go. Oh, I love it. I'm, it's nice to drive down the road now without hitting big holes and dodging holes and all that. Here's Highway 101 in 2021, and here it is now. Emily and Sue Robinson can finally ride in peace. I think it's been great. It, it, they've done a really good job. Finally, took them a while, but we're all pleased. The state's Department of Transportation says the highway received full depth cement reclamation, a base beneath it, and a new four inch asphalt surface. It was also widened two feet on each side in a few areas. This work took about two months. Emily says the last time this happened. Back when I was probably in 1960 or something like that, you couldn't drive anywhere without big holes and messing your car up. It's, it was a mess. <laughs> to paint the picture, I received 10 complaints about Highway 101 and 114 potholes were patched over the years. Sue says the resurfacing was well overdue. 101 was really bad. It was potholes everywhere. You know, you couldn't, you had to go on the opposite sides of the road to dodge the holes. It was, it's pretty bad. I noticed paving between Main Street and Woodruff to the Lawrence County line. That was where the bulk of my complaints were coming from. However, the Lawrence County side in Gray Court had some problems too. Crews paved from just past Wasp Drive to Hickory Tavern as well. But Sue says Spartanburg County needed it more. I feel like we had it worse because if you go past the bridge, it's in Lawrence County. They were paved first. Most drivers I talked to are pleased, but Eric Wood still has some reservations. It's nice. It's pretty smooth. Um, I drive Uber, so I'm around the whole area quite a bit. Um, there's definitely still room for improvement. Everything looks great except one spot right before Wasp Drive. The DOT says it's already under contract. Crews will pave from one mile west of Great Court to Highway 14. They plan to finish the job by October of next year. Complete what they said they were going to do in the beginning. Drivers also complained about the breakdown of the edges around the new pavement. They fear it won't last because of it. The DOT says most asphalt surfaces contain minor raveling at the edges due to the stone in the asphalt mix. However, there was one isolated area of failure noted during the final inspection due to soil saturation. They will fix that and drivers shouldn't be concerned. The work is expected to last 30 years. From the studio, Teresa Bowles, Fox Carolina News. All right, 30 years. It's a long time. Let's hope so. And if you have a road that you would like Teresa to get you some answers to, we got you covered right here. Take your phone, open the camera, scan that code, fill out some information. Be pretty specific about that road. Um, if you don't have your phone on you, it's okay. You can always head to foxcarolina.com a little bit later and fill out that information online.